Hi, I'm Chris Hahn at SI Car News, and we're here today at Level 7 Motorsports in Marion, Illinois, with the owner, Jesse Vaughn. Jesse, thanks for letting us into your shop. Yeah, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. We know that you're busy and you've got a lot of things here going on. And uh, maybe we can just take a look around and see some of the things that you're working on right now. And uh, just tell us about some of the projects you have and also let us know if there's a way that someone may have a project out there that they'd like to bring to you, how easy or how it can be brought to you for you to work on. Okay. Uh, we've got three big projects going on right now. We've got a 60 Thunderbird, uh, an 89 Mustang, kind of a restoration race car project, and then the 49 Suburban. So those are our big three right now. Well, we'd like to look at this uh, 60 Square Bird you have here. This is uh, really detailed out in a lot of different options and it's not original. What are you guys doing to it? Yeah, well, it came in original. Uh, it drove in here as uh, just an all stock restoration. It was a 60 Thunderbird. Um, it came from Alberta, Canada. Um, one of our local customers came to us with the idea for the build and didn't really even have a car yet. So he wanted to kind of try to build a, um, a vintage race car, but something he can still drive on the streets, air conditioning, uh, fuel injection, all that stuff. So we suggested that he find a good, clean body that didn't need paint or body, good, clean, original car, and then we can do all the drivetrain modifications, suspension, brake stuff. And that's what we got. We got, uh, he, this was originally a California car. Um, he ended up finding it um, on the internet. Um, it had been originally purchased from California. Uh, the restoration was done there and a guy in Alberta, Canada bought it and I guess owned it for about a year, put about a thousand miles on it and then sold it. And then that's where our customer got it. So it took about two weeks to get here. And then uh, once it got here, we kind of made plans for what all we wanted to do to it. We wanted to do, uh, you know, modern coilover suspension, modern disc brakes, um, kind of keep it with the Ford uh, stuff. Do it. We took the 352 out and put a, a 351 in it, a, a built motor, aluminum heads, and an AOD trans. And then we did the Holley Terminator fuel injection, vintage air, um, Ride Tech coilovers, Willwood disc brakes. So all the good stuff, all the modern, you know, uh, good handling, good braking, good fuel economy stuff on it. Beautiful car, it really is, and some terrific work that you guys are doing on this car. It really is nice, it really is nice. Uh, I want to I want to kind of leap over if I can, mm -hmm. because that big green machine is sitting over there, <laughs> and that is very special. And I want you to tell us about that because that is terrific over there. Yeah, so this is a 1949 Suburban. It came from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, customer found it on the internet, drove up there, and it was. Uh, used as an old highway department truck. So it still says like Vernon County Highway Department on the doors. Um, and so it ran and drove, had a straight six, three in the tree. Um, he liked it mainly because of the old, you know, original patina and uh, the, you know, the lettering still on the doors. So it's got a lot of history. You know, it was used by highway department for a really long time. And um, his idea was to get the body off, try to preserve it, but fix all the, you know, all the rust, all the structural stuff that need to be fixed. We'll fix all that. And then uh, same thing like we do on everything else, kind of redo everything underneath. So the frame, um, we've redone a lot of the suspension. It's got a Roadster Shop Revo front end. Again, Willwood disc brakes. We four linked it. It's got a nine inch in it. Um, and then big wheels, 20 inch wheels on it. And we've got a, a GM six liter LS motor, a built turbo 400. It's going to get a supercharger, um, getting a lot of performance stuff. So like modern race car underneath, original 49 suburban body on top. And then we're gonna go through and redo all the interior. So, you know, new leather interior, nice brown carpet, you know, repaint all the metal inside the car. Terrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is. again, a really unique car. A, a great idea by one of our customers. Yeah. And that's what they can do. They can come to you with their ideas and you can make their ideas reality. Yeah, they yeah, can. yeah. It takes a, takes a little bit of time, but uh, when there's a great idea, then we'll, we'll definitely work hard to, to get there with you. That's really nice. Now over here on our left is a, uh, a Mustang that's basically right now and in, in probably right in developmental mm -hmm. stages. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, this may be uh, the world's first full restoration of a 1989 Mustang. <laughs> but um, one of our customers wants to have a, a daily, you know, it's a car that he can drive on the street to and from work. Uh, but he also wants to do a lot of autocrossing. He wants to do road racing in it. And um, he wanted to start with one of these old Mustangs. They're really light chassis. He wants to have us put one of uh, our LS motors in it. Same thing, do one of the new uh, Corvette ZL1 superchargers on it and do a little roll cage and do a bunch of modern suspension and stuff. So um, 
We painted it this really unique, really light gray. This is a, a color that we mixed. Um, he wanted the most subtle, uh, kind of understated gray that he could find, and this is what we got. It's just a really pale gray. He'll have a, a satin black wheels, all satin black trim, and uh, it's a pretty neat car. I want to mention, and I, I know you won't because you're a very modest guy, but I want to mention uh, the beautiful vehicle that you did for the Optima streetcar shootout. I think it was a terrific vehicle. Took it all the way to Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, it was, uh, it was on TV, and it was uh, your build, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, it was one of the first times that we decided to do a, a full build, and this one ended up being a race car pretty much. We decided that we wanted to build a, a race car for the shop, something to race with our customers, go to drag strips and road, cor you know, road courses and stuff like that. And it's kind of continued to be a trend every year. We build something right before the power tour, drive it on the power tour, have fun. But we finished that car two days before the power tour, drove it from here to Detroit, Detroit all the way down through to Texas, and then found out about the Optima Ultima Streetcar Invitational, entered a qualifier event, raced it all weekend there, and then drove it all the way back. So that's just kind of one of those things that we, we kind of get addicted to doing every year is building something just to drive on the power tour. But, but yeah, that car ended up being a you know, contender for that Optima Ultima Streetcar Invitational. You have everything from, from one from a 49 to a 60 to an 89 mm -hmm. and everything in between that you've worked on here at level seven it's it's a terrific place and i i do uh, i do like the cars that are here if someone has a car or has mm -hmm. an idea how should they approach you at level seven yeah we usually start with a consultation that's the best thing you know give us a phone call uh, or send us an email and and tell us your idea tell us the project that you have in mind and we'll get together we'll we'll sit down uh, with, a, with a notepad and we'll talk about your objectives and what you want from the car, what do you want it to look like, paint us a really good picture. And uh, we'll do that a couple times and then we'll discuss uh, what kind of parts it's gonna take and what kind of time. Well, Jesse, we do appreciate you showing us around the shop and showing us the different projects that are here. Uh, again, remind everybody how they can get a hold of you, how they can contact you if they have a project that they'd like you to uh, handle. Mm -hmm. Our phone number and our email address are both on our website and on Facebook. So whichever is the easiest for you to find, uh, whether you're on Facebook or just want to get on the internet, uh, you can find our email, phone number, uh, all that stuff's on there under Level 7 Motorsports in Marion. And we want everybody to make sure that they look for the next SI Car News video, which will be coming along very soon. Thank you. We, again, Jesse, we appreciate it. And we want everybody to please watch for our next video. It'll be along very soon. Same bat time, same bat channel. I'm sorry, I, I, you probably have to cut that out, I'm sorry. <laughs>